look, today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make a po' boy. Let's get it. Okay, folks, look, we are gonna go ahead and look at some of these ingredients, right? Cause it's not a whole lot. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you right here. Look, we just got that classic French bread, right? Look, it's kind of soft. We are gonna toast it up a little bit. Hey, but that, you know, we'll get to that part when we get there. Look, we got hot sauce. I'll be using my Level Up series right here. Look, we got butter. We got some seasoning right here. Lettuce, tomato, shrimp, and you see some other ingredients back here. The reason I'm saying it like that, not really naming them off, because as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Now, one of the things that I got to talk about, check this out, we got to talk about the Creole kick. Not a whole lot to say, because listen, if you've been following me for a minute, you know this right here is where it's at. This is what's gonna make it that po' boy, right? Now, if you guys take a look, look right here. I'll set it out right here. Look, this is the Ramalai that I'm gonna be using. Listen, I went ahead and just pre-made this, you know why? If you look down in the, uh, the description box, the whole full ingredient list is there, right? It's just put it all in there and get yourself a fork or a whisk. You know, a whisk if you're a professional, fork if you're the home cook. You know, just blend it all together and then you got your Ramalai. Look, it's super simple. I don't want to like over talk it. Oh, I always got to say something about my buddy right here. That's Mr. Pepper. And then when I say Mr. Pepper, you know I got to bring in the kosher salt too. Hey, with that being said, let's make it. Okay, so look, now that we're getting started, look, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna try to explain it and make it sound as simple as it is. I guess I really wanna say I'm gonna overcomplicate it with my, you know, my words, right? Cause it's so easy. Look, you got your two wet ingredients, right? I mean, your two dry ingredients, right? So we put our flour and our cornmeal, right? Now, I'm gonna take my A seasoning, my level up. This right here gonna give it a nice little profile right here. You know what I mean? Don't forget, you wanna go ahead and season your flour always. Just go ahead and get your whisk, right? And just whisk it all together. The reason I'm doing it like this, cause I'm gonna come with my pepper last. I mean, that's good enough right now. Now I want you guys to grind. Get yourself one of these pepper grinders right here and just grind. Grind until I tell you to stop. Till I ring your doorbell and tell you, hey, that's enough. That's what you're gonna do. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to take my Creole kick. Look, and what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and season this right here over the top, right? I put on a glove. Woo! Wish I had a mask. This stuff makes you sneeze. But what you want to do is you just want to get it all to marry and to marinate. It's real, real fleshy, right? We all know about that, that shrimp. We just want to go ahead and let it soak. Look at that right there. All right, so now what we want to do is get yourself a bowl, right? This is my buttermilk. This would be more familiar to everybody that's been making like catfish or even doing, you know, shrimp, right? Get your egg. Hey, talk to me folks down in the comment section below. Do you like to use a hen egg or do you like the white egg? And then right here, we're going to add a little hot sauce, right? You, are, you guys use whatever you like. This is what I had, you know what I mean? We're just going to kick it up just a little bit. Look, the hot sauce, the Creole kick, the Level Up A series, this right here. Mm. I'm sure you guys already know. Now, just get yourself a whisk. But look, real simple, folks. There's no way I can go ahead and like do no over talking and nothing like that. And you know what? I probably should have showed the size. It's up to you how big you want them to be, but I like this. I think this is like something to 31 or something like that. I gotta like look on, you know, look at how I bought them, right? So I'm gonna do it right now, just small. I'm gonna do one by one so you guys can see, right? Check it out, real simple. You see this right here? Oh, and I probably should have said this because I know the food police be out here and they're gonna be asking them questions. Yes, it's already deveined. You can see it's already butterfly, right? So look, shake everything off and just put it right there. Real simple. Wet, drop, put the dry on the top, mix it around a little bit, right? Shake. Now, you know when I do chicken, I tell everybody to squeeze it so it get up in the crevices. But you squeeze this shrimp, you're going to break it, right? So look, this right here is done properly. Shake it. You can see the excess come off and then drop it there. That simple, folks. I'm going to do it this way for you. This is the way everybody probably going to do it. Just take them, drop them in like this. It depends on how many you're making, right? You drop them in, give them a little, you know, coating, give them a little bath, grab some. Your finger's gonna act as the strainer. Let them, you know, shake as much of the liquid as you can and then drop, 
right? You got it? Now, you guys find out which whatever way that's gonna be good for y'all, and then we go from there. Okay, so look, you guys can see, look, I got them all coated. I just put them on a, you know, a tray, right? Right. The reason I did that, cause look, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and continue to let the seasoned flour, the cornmeal, and then uh, the Creole kick, all of that seasoning we put in there, we want that to go on the inside of the flesh, right? So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, just let it be in there about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm getting ready to start bringing my oil up to temp. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so look, I done pulled these out. They was in there about 12 minutes. That's all, they get a little chill on them. You can see everything is adhered to it, nice. Look, my oil is up to temp. We at 350 degrees. I'ma take them, put them in like that, and then I just, you know, let it go away from me, just so I don't catch no splash on my hand, right? So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get these in there. And these don't take long, you know what I mean? It only takes like a couple of minutes. Okay, so look, after three minutes, this is what they look like. Let me just go ahead and get some of these. You see them right there? I can, you know, shake them like this and I can feel they super crispy. You hear that? So look, we just go ahead and get a paper line plate. You know what I mean? Just put them in there. And then all you want to do is now you just want to repeat, right? This right here is the million dollar shrimp, folks. Listen, they season just right. I got it, pull away everybody think they can make them. But listen, when you use the right seasoning and you get the blend properly done, that's what you come up with. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this bread together for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these. If you look at that right there, ooh wee. Let me go ahead and dunk it one time. You know what I mean? Mm. Cheers, folks. Mm. You guys saw earlier, you can see where I toasted this using just fire. A lot of people don't even know you can do that. So look, I'm gonna use the Ramelade. Check this out, we're gonna use the Ramelade and that's gonna be our base down here on the bottom. That's gonna be just like as if we was putting some kind of mayo on here. This right here gives it that twang. Trust me folks, you close your eyes, you swear you were down somewhere in Louisiana. You know what I mean? Uh, this is it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little of this lettuce and we just wanna create a bed down here, right? Real simple. You guys should love, you know, going ahead and, you know, getting your presentation together. Look, it just levels up the food. I don't know why. I know it's all psychological, but you take pride in the way it looks. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, it just helps you, makes you push yourself to cook, you know, and create, you know, good meals, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and start loading this up a little bit with some shrimp. It's up to you guys how you want to do it. I'm going to make it with like two rolls, you know, something like this. And if you didn't pay attention, you can see I've been eating some of these shrimp. You know what I mean? Just been eating them. I can't help it, folks. Look at that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get me a couple of slices of these tomatoes and just add this right here on the top like this. That's good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this ramelai right here on the top. We're just gonna sprinkle that on here just like that. Oh my goodness, folks. And this right here is gonna be the po' boy. And if for those of you guys wanna put some more lettuce on the top, you can do that too. But be careful about putting too much on here. You know what I mean? The reason I say that, cause look, we gotta get it closed. Now, I'm gonna take it. I'm getting ready to make a second one. I just wanna show you guys this. This is an option too. Look, when you open these up, right? You could look, if you take a look at this, look at how big this is right here, right? And then you can see how thin it is down here. And that depends on what baker you use, what brand, you know, you get your bread from. Sometimes it's bigger on the bottom. But when it's big like this, you have this option too. So I just take my fingers here, you know what I mean? And I just try to take out some of this, you know what I mean? Just so it's not so much bread, you know? So be careful that you don't pull too much and you take too much out, you know what I mean? But this is what you want to do.
Okay, so you guys just got like another option. You know, like they super simple to make, right? If you just really think about it, all we doing is frying some shrimp. But I just want to show you guys just how easy it is to make. And it really is the combination of, the, you know, the flavors, right? It's the Level Up series. You know, I use the A and then I use that Creole Kick. This is what takes it over the top. And don't forget, we made a Ramelade. A lot of people don't do that. I notice when I'm at some people's house, they, you know, when they do po' boys, they use the mayonnaise, stuff like that, when it's so simple to make it. Again, don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. You know what? I got to take some pictures of these. You know, I got to like pass them, cut some of these down and pass them out. So I won't be taking no bite of these. I got to say this. The reason why? Because of these two right here, like promise, I didn't already ate enough of the shrimp. Hey, with that being said, I just want to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell every Everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I like to leave it, folks. I'm out. Peace.